Let's have a summary of the debate. Uh, here's just a couple of clips run together. This is cut 14. It's all, all going to be over soon. Come on. Learning to live with it. Come on. Not that many of you are going to die, so don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. Come on. I know how to game the system. Come on. Come on, folks. And we had a good relationship with Hitler before he, in fact, invaded Europe, the rest of Europe. Come on. Is lecturing me on Social Security and Medicare? Come on. Let him go bankrupt. Come on. I told him to stand down and stand ready. Come on. <laughs> All right. This is the amazing. This is the amazing invisible big guy. This is the big guy the press doesn't want to see. Let me give you the bottom line as I see it. Basically, there are two scenarios. One is the, the election will be determined by undecided independents, and that's who Trump and Biden have to sway to get the majority on their side. The other is what I call the Molly Hemingway scenario, because it was for, I first heard it posed by the best of all possible Mollies, Molly Hemingway, which is that there are too few undecided voters to make a difference. And what the election will be decided by is whether or not the base is enthusiastic enough to come out. And they may be enthusiastic in support of Trump, but they may also be enthusiastic just hating Trump. Obviously, no one is enthusiastic about Joe Biden. So as Trump's strategy has, and maybe just his nature, has been to play for the second scenario, the scenario that is, is voter turnout that's going to make the difference. He has not changed. He has not reached out. He has not tried to be a nicer guy or a less Trumpy. He has just made sure that he is making, letting people see who he is so people can come out. Now, Trump, the, op the, the last time Trump and Biden debated in the first debate, I said it was a tie on points, but that Trump had lost. And the reason I thought Trump had lost, and that turned out pretty much to be true in the polls, although not as much as uh, people said he had, but he was, he was too far behind in the polls then to have a tie. That was the first thing. And his aggressive behavior, his aggressive bullying, puts those people off who might vote for him, but just can't stand his personality. They just don't like him. And I think there are people like that, and I think there are probably a lot of them. This time, I thought it was a tie on points for the first half and in the second half as, as Biden started to collapse, uh, Trump started to win. But it was all a win for Trump because even the tie was a win for Trump because he normalized himself. And people who thought they couldn't vote for him because he's Godzilla could see, oh, no, he's just Trump. So basically, in this debate, every narrative was shot down. The left wing narrator did a decent job. And some said she didn't uh, ask about court packing and Hunter Biden enough. But that's really Trump's job to do that. And of course, she went into climate change, which is nonsense. But that's a problem with just getting always left wing uh, moderators. You know, you've got to we've got to fix that situation if the GOP doesn't fix it. It's a, it's just going to be a problem. Kung Pao Joe was not a blithering fool. I've told you that. I've told you he can get through a debate and he did get through the debate. He lied a lot more than Trump did, but he got through the debate. But the most important narrative that went down is that Trump was not Satan. And in part, this is funny, he was helped by the left, by the Presidential Debate Commission, which is obviously left wing. He was helped by their threatening to mute him if he went bananas and if he started bullying him. Just in the same way, he was helped by the left, by Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, when they wouldn't deal with him and that pushed him to the right. So he became a much better president and he became a much more right wing conservative president. And his, some of his old Democrat instincts were gotten rid of because they wouldn't deal with him. They forced him to be more. He's not a disciplined guy. They forced him to be more disciplined and that helped. And the thing is, if Trump is not Satan, the Democrats have no case. And that's that's why I think this was a major win for him, because the whole point of Joe Biden is, yeah, yes, he's a, is he a piece of lawn furniture? Yes, he is. Is he a potted plant? Yes, he is. But Trump is Satan. And you could just see Trump is a guy who does what he thinks will work. You could see the real Trump because Trump wasn't getting in his own way because they forced him not to. And I think that that's a big, big win for Donald Trump in this debate. <laughs> 